$20 basketball. This is for myself. Pay two bucks for it. Yeah, do some dribbling action. John Krause, number 40. He needs air. <laughs> he fumbled the ball. The other team wins. <laughs> no! Who think you could throw it at me? <laughs> Okay, John and I were at the Mustard Seed, one of our favorite thrift stores, and this is the Easter section, if you couldn't tell. I always thought it'd be fun to do displays in thrift stores, you know, by holidays or colors. I already have a Raggedy Ann and Andy that I've been trying to sell on eBay that's been listed a little while. Hoping I'll find a home soon with somebody who can love them. I always like looking at the plush. I do have quite a bit that I've listed, but I still like looking at them. I did grab that Jesus Loves Me bunny because he looks vintage, and I did end up picking him up. Went back to look at more plush. Maybe I should have looked him up. He said 2019, but didn't think about looking him up. Another dandy. Some dandy plush is valuable, some is not so much. Of course, the bunnies are plentiful this time of year because Easter's coming up. I thought he was very cute. Couldn't find a tag on him, so left him behind, sadly. A floppy bunny. I'm always looking at the tags. I was happy about that because I thought it was a lovey. It's not. It's a peekaboo... Peekaboo puppy. And it's got a lovey attached, but um, it was very dirty. So even though I put it in my cart, I put him back later. Because um, he does have a value on eBay. He does sell pretty well, but um, I didn't want to clean him up. And I thought I would try him out, but of course the battery was dead or missing. I don't know which. And John and I have purchased stuffed animals before that are musical that are or talk where you put a battery in there and you flip the switch and off they go but since it was dirty I I end up putting them back that might have been something kind of looks vintage it's all dressed up but I did get this guy I believe he's Animal Adventure, which is a very good brand. I just sold an Animal Adventure recently. So he went in my cart and stayed in my cart. Cute, but not a notable tag. Getting to the bottom of the barrel now. That one's cute. Press the ear, nothing happens. So batteries are dead. Didn't recognize the brand. There's the battery pack hanging out. Obviously batteries are missing. Didn't want to deal with it. So sadly it went back into the trunk. Okay, I'm gonna get these two plush. This one, are worth 15 to 20. It's dandy. And then this guy is Animal Adventure, which is a good plush brand to sell. And 
he's worth up to 25 so two good selling plushes. Start to look through the gift bags because I'm always looking for inexpensive gift bags, you know, for any occasion I might want to give a gift. But I didn't end up getting anything. I did end up getting some bows that I found there. I already have a horse like that for sale. It's been listed several months, no interest. Yeah, me too. Yes. I was interested in this mobile because it looks vintage and I'm sick about getting it for my nephew. His wife is going to have a baby in June and we're going to the baby shower in the May. But I might sell it on eBay. I haven't decided yet. I'm really not interested in selling dolls. John bought one recently and it did sell right away. So I guess it just depends on the doll. Okay, I found this cutie. I had a feeling that could be worth something on eBay because it looks very vintage. I know the face has some scratches on it. I did comp it out, not super high, and I couldn't find one just like that, so I did leave it behind. Just being very picky about what I pick up these days. Okay, I was looking through all these bins of plush. There were several of them. Another dandy. I guess I didn't comp him. He was adorable. He's like soft sounds. It's the kind that um, is like a soother for a baby, but didn't comp out very high. So I didn't get him, unfortunately. I thought he was really cute though. It was Fisher Price. Very cute. Had to turn him on, but of course he didn't work. <laughs> I did get this guy. That's here. Okay. Uh, oh 
the battery was dying. He actually says more than that. But cute enough to keep and sell for good money. Comped up pretty good. It's a squishable. Oh, cute. I tried to turn that off. It didn't do anything. For me, <laughs> didn't like me. <laughs> no, I get. Oh, really? So they got a stock of them. Oh, look at that realistic dog face. That's interesting. Oh, koala. Very cute. Pooh bear. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what a clever way of displaying them in a crib. Yeah. Oh, that is neat. Oh. Yeah, he's kind of big. <laughs> Cute though. Oh, he's like a whale with a, like a unicorn whale. Yeah, put your hands in. I guess I'm thinking for the winter time for the kids. Hug a pet. Okay. I'm an eBay seller, so I look up everything. I don't look up anything. <laughs> well, if you eBay. know what you like, you don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him. I'm an elephant collector, but I got Really? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's cool. Look at this huge piece of furniture. It goes from to there. <laughs> and perfect place for me to price this. Got this cute guy. He was worth more than I thought. That little monkey. I got the narwhal too. He's worth about 26. looking through the plush. Another dandy, but didn't want to look it up. Oops, he fell. <laughs> Had to rescue him. A lot of this is having an eye for valuable plush, and I still look them up, but like there's another one of those peekaboo dogs. Thought about getting it, but when I comped it out, maybe 15 to 20, and he didn't work. I'd have to put a battery in, and I'd already gotten a few plushes, so I just wasn't in the mood to get him and see if he worked. But if he's still there when I go back, I'll probably pick him up. up it might be worth something it looks like one of those uh, educational plushes that guy was just cute but I didn't rescue another plush <laughs> that's 
passed my cart thus far. Those didn't all go home with me, though. And I'm heading over to the crafting table where I got that $200 craft cruel kit a few months ago. So I'm looking up all these cruel kits now. You'll see that I only found one. I comped all of these out. I grabbed them up and comped them out. But there was only one I took home. You'll see that in a little bit. This is stuff, great stuff if you like are a crafter and you have some crafting projects. They had felt, they had all kinds of stuff for craft projects. There's the one I got that I have currently listed for 60 bucks and it's only a dollar. Another one sold for I think 50 to 70, but it wasn't the kittens. It was like presidents. So I just kind of took a shot in the dark and put 60 and I've had some watchers on it. So I think it will eventually sell. If somebody wants to offer me less, I will take it. So as you can see, I'm combing through all of them. And I'm getting that duct tape craft just because it looked like a fun thing I might want to do in the future. So I just grabbed that for me. I don't know if these scrapbooking magazines are worth anything or books. But just looking through everything. Never know where you can find profit. Looking through the placemats and I found these and I thought these would be a great find to list on eBay. I comped them out later and couldn't find any like them. And since I was being picky, I didn't end up getting them and I put them back. But those were quite pretty. Wonder if I could have gotten anything for those. But I just grabbed the cabin ones. But like I said, I couldn't find them on eBay so I put them back. That one I thought would be a good one. Uh, they sell for like 10 bucks, so put that back as well. A lot of times I just grab things and comp them out later. I was looking at the remnants because we have a bench that we want to recover, but turns out I sold it on eBay. So even though I found a remnant, don't need it now. Kind of got a little bit of story involved. I was selling the bench for pickup only and this lady wanted the needle point so she paid a hundred dollars for the needle point and I just shipped the top of the bench with the needle point attached because I don't want to take it off and maybe damage it and then she got it and she loved it so much she goes I wish I had the rest of the bench and I'm like well if you pay me for shipping I'd be happy to ship you the bench because it's really not that heavy it's just, um, it's going to be put in a big box. So it might be 15, 20 bucks. And she's willing to pay me for the shipping. So she's going to send me the shipping of PayPal once I price it out. So 100 bucks for the bench. And I'm happy to sell it to her. And this is the one I found that was going to work great with this bench, but now I no longer need it. But as you can see, it's only 75 cents. So it's not a big loss. So I'm putting back the ones that I had picked earlier. Moving on down to the sheets, I was looking for a gray sheet for a backdrop for my pictures since I heard that gray was a good color to take pictures. That was a John Deere blanket I just grabbed. I end up putting it back, but.
Bingo, I found my gray sheet. I think it was only $3 or $1. Let's see if I show you the tag. I don't. <laughs> Come on, Cindy. Ah. Oh, psych. I guess we'll never know. I can continue to look in this section just to see what else they had. Sometimes I find some fun sheets to sell on eBay. And I'm always looking at towels and that kind of thing. It's very easy to ship towels and sheets and drapery. And of course, I always look at the pillows. Those are always fun. <laughs> Runaway items again. I was kind of looking at comforters for my bed. Kind of getting tired of the one I have. Looking at sheets again. Couldn't find anything there though. This was a fine. Got this. Ding, ding, ding. Coca-Cola sheet. It's just a full, but it's a dollar. And soda products sell well. So I haven't got that listed yet. Just got it um, washed. But getting that listed by tomorrow. I really like this. I love the color, so it looked kind of beachy and cool. But I believe it was a twin or a full, so that went back. It's not going to fit anything in my place. Just have a queen bed. Normally, I would love to buy these quilts because quilts do very well for me, but I have an abundance of quilts and blankets right now, so don't want to deal with that right now. They do take up a lot of room. I love that Velux thing. I had one of those when I was younger. My parents had one, and they're super soft. And yes, it probably would sell on eBay, and along with that vintage blanket. But again, I'm being very particular about what I get and what I can store in my office. Burp rags. I got a couple of those for my nephew's child that's going to be born in June. Really cute. Somebody made those. Homemade burp cloths. So I got the fox and I think I got a couple extra. I was looking for um, more masculine since he's having a boy or his wife is. Isn't that cute? I thought... She's definitely going to need burp cloths. Cloths. Cloths? That's a terrible word to say. Um, I know I needed those with my kids when they were babies. Okay, I was looking for a doily to put on top of an end table we have that has like scratches on it. So that's what I was looking for here. Although I have heard some eBay sellers sell doilies. I haven't yet. That's one I am getting, even though it has stains on it. I figure I can full X those and get those washed and put that on the end table. I have not done that yet. <laughs> I will soon. Okay, I was over by the drapery and bedding etc still looking for kind of a gray sheet but I'm also looking for things to sell Vegas game for a dollar 
they're selling for about $175. It's a little square wow. game. Got a Christian a book that sells for about $100, paid a dollar for it. Yeah, and I got another one of those cruel crafting kits that's probably worth 50 to 100. It's adorable kittens. Even the lady bringing us that one looks worth that. A little windy here. Um, our total was $72. And we got those two mid-century modern chairs. So I'm gonna flip on this at Marketplace as soon as possible. I'm thinking $50 each, but I have to do a little research. $30 basketball. I got a $30 basketball. This is for myself, paid two bucks for it. Yeah, do some dribbling action. John Krauss, number 40. You can knees there. <laughs> he fumbled the ball. The other team wins. <laughs> no! Who think you could throw it at me? <laughs> There's our total. And this is for the mid-century modern chairs. 20 bucks for those. So oh, that's fun. It was. Fun. It was oh, fun. Was anyway. Spent more than we wanted to, but we're gonna make more than we expect to. <laughs> yeah, way more than what we paid. That 72 is getting like flipped into 400 at least. Oh, more than that. Yeah. I'm guessing about, with chairs, I'm guessing about six. Yeah. Five, I'll say five. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, one thing I want to recommend to you guys is if you find multiples of one thing, buy them. So John, got found four Tommy Hilfiger sweaters a few days ago when we were thrifting and I've already sold two of them to the same guy one of them had a snag so we didn't list it but the other one hasn't sold so I'm gonna let him know that I have one more for sale in case he missed it but look for those multiple items I've never done that before but it makes sense because maybe one person will wears Tommy Hilfiger sweaters and that's all they wear. That's their favorite thing to wear. So of course they're gonna to wanna to buy multiples and the ones I had were in different colors. So yeah, be looking for those multiples of sweaters or shirts or pants or skirts or dresses, whatever, because one person might buy them all. So he offered, he sent me an offer 15 for each one. I took it, I had them at like 19. And that's about, they go between 15 and 25. So that's fine. And I made double money there, 30 bucks and he's already paid. And sure he's a happy guy because he's getting quality items. And the other thing I heard is when you're looking to buy things for sourcing that you should look for mall brands. Um, Tommy Hilfiger is one of the mall brands. So I'm gonna be looking for more, but I sold an Eileen Fisher sweater for 20 bucks and I actually bought it for myself and I didn't use it. And that's a mall brand and so things like that. Banana Republic is getting a little saturated so I probably wouldn't look for that. But the other ones um, can quite sell for quite a bit of money. So be out there looking and comping when you're sourcing and looking for those items with the most profit to you. That's my tip for today.